Kiki, just Over. like you gotta protect Kiki. Oh, hey! We're oh. in game! Hey, what was that, a Vulcan turret? Jeez. That is a Vulcan turret. It's Vulcan versus on her. Did he Captain push? Twig is gonna pilot the on her here in the final oh. joust, so arguably m must be his strongest god. The bands are in! Twig banned Hell, Aphrodite, Poseidon. So Poseidon, as we expected, a couple of mages as well banned out to force old Zeros into his Vulcan pick here. What do you think he played in the last game that he was in? Zeros bans Hubwa, Kronos, and Fenrir. So, so not what are you going to do with no Fenrir? Bologna? No Bologna ban, no Bologna pick. The old standby, it's on her. The uh, Probably the, the, I would say, the most played at professional level joust. Yeah, I mean, what, what this is is, like, this is the character that has the most me mechanics in terms of hunters. So it allows players to get a really good, like, amount of skill practice. You have a jump, which knocks back. You have, you know, two different combos with the Impale. Desert Fury is range skill shot. Um, I would say your best hunters in this game mode. You have AMC is really strong. Um, you can't be, yeah. I think that's about Dive it. Dive, boys. That's I mean, so it, it. it's one of those things, like, you know, in every in every MOBA game that, that people play 1v1 in, there's always, like, the character that everyone plays, right? In Dota, right. It's, it's Soul Stealer. Or Shadow Friend, I guess, in, in Dota. Shadow Fiend, right? Yeah. yeah. In, in I, League of Legends, I mentioned, like, Gragas or someone. In, in League, I would say there's a lot of Lee Sin. Yeah. A like, like hev heavily skill shot mechanics based 1v1s. And on her is definitely that in spite, yeah. as you can see. I mean, it's just, there's a lot of lot of skill shots. That was bold. Yeah. Jumping into the turret there. <laughs> he had no health left. It's always punishing to dive a caster early, especially uh, as an ADC, because you're not so farmed right away. Yeah, look at look at zeros. I mean, the vampire tried allowing him to heal back up a little bit there. So doing a nice job. He's going to soak up some extra experience on her. In the meantime, however, twig with those timings. He's going to take the red buff and look for a back. Looks like Vulcan is uh, is perfectly happy just to cut this next wave, and uh, and make his oh. way back as well. But yeah, blue buff still active there. I mean, on her. Yeah, well, he's backing. Uh, he's going to lose some golden experience for this. I mean, it was definitely the safer call. He couldn't get out of there either way. Uh, he's going to wind up probably losing three creeps in experience, four to five in gold. Uh, should be able to get at least one. Yeah, he's leaving the base a little bit prematurely oh, he, here. He, he got, he, he got, he got the extra one experience. Got a decent more in gold. Yeah, but like you said, a little bit premature on the base leave. Yeah, so he's left. He's, yeah, you're right. He he trades a little bit of gold for a little bit of lack of HP, but not a lot of kill potential, honestly, on the Vulcan. Um, until he has a couple damage items where the poke really matters. Did he just dodge that? He did. I thought that was gonna hit. Yeah, it looked like it. What a player. Is it worth it though? I mean, that's the issue. I'm surprised that we didn't see him move up and take a shot. Yeah, Hunter's OP. <laughs> <laughs> Expert analysis by Lassus. <laughs> uh, ask, ask him a month ago. No, that was all right. Now he switched to mid. Man, look at this guy. So strong. <laughs> These guys, man, critting for 2K. <laughs> that was an interesting one there. That was, uh, it, it seemed like Zeros just kind of knew exactly what the, the game was from Twig there and played it really nicely. Now he's going to take around another third of his HP, take him down to half for Twig, who are riding along with on the on her. Remember, this is a best of one finals here, so winners take it all. Winners take it home, that sweet, sweet Alienware laptop. The loser just gets an Xbox One. <laughs> uh, we got some new uh, donations in, by the do way. Do we do? F5, boys, we have. Kelly Lynx is the best. Kelly? Okay. Uh, Echo Kira. <laughs> Can we have Zatman and Lassus pie each other? Cat face. Also, thank you, Hi Res, for doing these amazing things and giving back hearts. You guys all rock. Smiley face. Kelly Link donates $25. I'm not racist, I swear. <laughs> Just digging that hole deeper. Radical Hardy, $25. Lassus has to pie himself and mean it. Hashtag Last Beach. Uh, I just became allergic to uh, milk <laughs> and dairy. <laughs> Vikram Fast. Wait, 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 real quick. So is Dry Bear, and I'm pretty sure he got a pie, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And he's actually allergic. He's actually allergic. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Vikram, uh, Vikram, Vic MC, oh, I see. Vic MC Run Fast, $10. Enjoy. Beards for eager. Echo Gamers, $10. DM, you better dominate in the high versus pros match. Hashtag DM MVP. He's going to catch these hands, man. <laughs> Big Pierce, $10. Because Dry Bear is who I watched, learned from when I first started playing Smite. I think he should eat a habanero pepper. <laughs> Thanks, Dry, Ooh. and the Smite team for everything and making these last two fun-filled <laughs> for all of us watching. Thank Does, you very much, Big uh, Pierce. What is this weekend of sociopaths? Man, Dry Bear is great, and I love him, and I think we should torture him. Yeah. Almost dead. I love him so much, I want to see him cry. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, to donating. The, we're getting uh, closer to the stretch goal as we get very close to 16,000. Yeah, if you guys want to see that brand-new Spankin' Arena map and help kick Hanser's ass, donate some money. Get lit. <laughs> lit. Who are you guys favoring in this matchup here? I gods mean, I, or players? I mean, uh, let's go with gods. Oh. I mean, it should belong. I mean, if Vulcan goes early, it'll belong to Vulcan. But, I mean, on her has better kill potential, right? He has more ability to dodge damage. And then he has, if you're trying to rush towers down, of course there's the damage from the turret in terms of backdoor protections, but 
I mean, it's on her. It's on her, yeah. It's on her for me as well. I mean, the 100 to 0 potential is, exists with honor. Uh, it exists in theory on Vulcan, but you got to hit all of his spells, and hitting his ultimate is just not going to happen. No, I also find it very difficult. Um, in fact, I, I just want to see Vulcan try and poke him as much as possibly can, you know, yeah. clear the wave, because he's got such short cooldowns, and he really needs to abuse that, because he's got to go for the early kills, as he said, Brandon, and uh, if he doesn't, I think, you know, late game. <laughs> Hunters. Vulcan for me has always been magical Sumukong, right? You just hit them with the cudgel over and over, in this case the backfire, until they're low enough for you to go, I can combo you to death now without my ult. No, absolutely. But yeah, it may oh. take the, the Soul Reaver? Soul Reaver. Soul, Soul Reaver. Reaver. To, to turn this one. But that's a very expensive luxury item, you know? And, and, and on her, well, what do you think? I mean, it's, he's got the Dev's Gloves. Is it going to, uh, probably an Executioner up next, and just, and then the in-hands really start hurting him. He could go for the file, but, you know, Either one is really going to make it so that any of these trading situations are no longer going to be even close to even. Right. And that's the unfortunate thing about mages against hunters, because if they do sustain or live through your burst, you know, now they're just going to sprint three and pop on you and hopefully take you down quickly. Now, lest we forget, Vulcan does have a very potent passive in this situation. <laughs> Vulcan often this maligned is uh, one of the worst passives in the entire game. But uh, it, do it does have some, some value here in this matchup where uh, after casting a spell, his next in hand, I think with like a 10 second timeout, will slow the enemy target. I mean, yeah, if it hits. If it hits. I if mean, it's, it hits. it's not like the next successful, it is the next. Right. But that being said, you know, the sprint three is not up yet for the on her, but it is up for the Vulcan. So having to invest into that early is zero to avoid the, the gas pedal rundown. See, the issue is that he just spent 900 gold on an item where, that he can't really use. Yeah. Right? I mean, if, if he uses it, he dies. If he uses it to escape, then if he gets pushed back, he's not going to have that 600 gold for defense, and the tower's going to take damage. Like, either way, he's put himself on the back foot. But, I mean, Zero obviously knows what he's doing. I mean, he beat Maniac, and that is a bet I would have lost. A couple <laughs> more donations coming through. Jordan, 3,001. $10 donation. I think that at the Zayadin needs another cream pie. The Dancing Ewok has donated $20. Lassus looks like his parents are chatting over tea. Hashtag <laughs> pie the beast. Hashtag Lassus. I think that's like four accrued for you so far. Uh. And Gastius again, $25. Pie Gars, he asked for it on Twitter. You, you got it. You got it. Anything for you? And the Slug King dropping 15 hot ones with no message. Thank you, Slug King. And let's get cancer lit. Lit. If there was a message to that, I assume it would say, you know what, let's not pie lasses or any more gentlemen with beards because yeah. it smells like It smells like ass. really bad, yeah. If you guys ever left a glass of milk sitting out for like two weeks or so and then, and then like dumped the contents into a plastic bag, shook it up, and tied it around your face, it took a huge huff. Yeah, have you ever done that? That's about what it's like to have, <laughs> you know, dollar store whipped cream in your Dude, beard after it is, an hour. It, is, it smells like burning death. It's I like my analogy a lot better. <laughs> Uh oh, we got a fifteen dollar donation for DM to use Anubis in the high res versus pros game. No, 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 no. We're already locked in. Me and Cyclone are locked in. You we and Cyclone. Uh oh, uh oh, we gotta kill, we gotta kill, we gotta kill. Can he hit a spear? He can hit a spear. It's your boy Twig gets the first kill on Zeros underneath the tower. Me and Cyclone are doing it for the fans though. Gummy forty four. Did they donate? What? What did they donate for your matchup that you and Cyclone agreed upon? <laughs> I mean probably. I, probably not. <laughs> but you do have a donation. Hey look, if you just donate fifteen bucks, you don't have to do it. <laughs> look at this, wait. I've been a fan of the stream for a while, but I always get Dry Bear and Bart confused, so here's some money. All right. <laughs> Sweet. I'll take it. Next time, you can just send that to my PayPal, yeah. and I'll, I'll let you know every time it's me and not Dry Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was, me. <laughs> that was definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Gummy44 for 10, dude. Thank you very much for donating. I'm trying to rush down cancer. <laughs> so this is, uh, you know, this is, this is where it gets real extra hairy. We've already seen on her and how he can, but he did, he was actually really, really low at the end of that trade. But maybe that's more to the tune of uh, Zero's playing aggressive, seeing that the on her was a bit low. He's going to get a couple of pot shots here, actually nicely hitting oh that second God, one. Oh my God, what is oh, he he's doing? Going, he's going to go hard. He's looking, looking for that second kill right away, but some was off cooldown. See, this is the trouble though, being down zero one. Now, if he backs to the base, there's tower damage coming through. And he, if he decides to dive, he's putting himself at loss for a trade. Oh, nice play. We got a $50 donation from Papa Lass. AKA Drew's dad. Please have Lassus shave his red beard. Thanks, Dad. That was the second one, by the way. <sighs> Shout outs to Papa Lass. <laughs> God, son of a gun. <laughs> Love you, Dad. I'm going to keep scrolling down. Here, you can just, there's a Gillette bottle right here, foamy, sensitive skin, and do we have a razors? bag of razors right here. Bud? Oh, we do have razors. I'm, uh, I'm going to counter donate to that one because uh, I'm going to keep the beard <laughs> in spite of your father? Papa Lass. <laughs> <laughs> $20 shy of 16K.
He's not not appreciative of your of your red beard. Now, if you had a blonde beard, maybe he yeah. should consider dying the beard. <laughs> How's that tower health looking there, Bart? It ain't looking good, Brandon. It's looking actually very oh, oh, very low. Oh, about ten fifty percent. He's gonna go hard, he, and and he needs about maybe five six more shots to win this one. And if he just if he can push him out of the lane at all, I mean, you see the players falling back. Yes, Zeros is gonna give this one up. Ooh. It is your boy. Captain Twig, that's gonna win. Uh, if, yeah, if you went with the betting, uh, the betting man this time, you will have earned yourself some dollars because I or mean, an Alienware. Twig just ran through it. Yeah, 